Hey friends, are you in for a treat or what? What do we have for you? A whole series on how to find a job. Yes, and you should be working on this from freshman right on through to senior, okay? So this is something important. Tell your friends you got to go watch this because I'm going to have on this series, I'm going to have things like um, what you should be doing while you're in school, what is your how to write a resume, how to write an engineering resume properly where recruiters are like, this guy's impressive. Um, how to what do I need to wear to a job fair or uh, anytime I'm talking to a um, a company? How about how about to mock interviews? How to interview some typical questions? How you need to answer those? Not how to answer them, but uh, how you should phrase your answers. Um, and anything else I can think of to help you land that job. I know times are tough and it's hard to find a job, but hopefully this series helps you. And I want to start that off today by talking about what can you do right now? I'm a freshman in college. I don't have any work experience. I, I, I was a, a lifeguard at the pool over the summer. So what do I do? Okay. So We'll talk about those jobs, those kind of jobs, right? If you're a stalker at a supermarket or if you were, you know, just mowed yards or whatever, those are still good jobs that we can fit onto our resume and we can have content for our resume. But what at school could I do to help myself on my resume? Number one. Okay. Well, number one is easy, right? Get good grades. Okay. So the first thing that any recruiter is going to be looking at is what are your grades? How good are you doing? So, and that's an obvious thing, right? You're in school and you got to think of school. School's a competition. You're competing with all those other people in your classroom for the best job. And who's going to get that best job? Well, the one that has good grades is going to be up there. Okay. Number two. Okay. Good grades. Don't get me wrong. It's not everything. It's not even close to everything. It's a big component, but it's not everything, okay? Get involved. This is a big one. I see students all the time. I'm like, okay, tell me some activities that you do at school. Uh, nothing. No clubs, no professional organizations. Um, there's all kinds of builds going on on campus, building race cars, building dune buggies, building rockets, building all kinds of things that you can get plugged into, right? Uh, and then there's there's all kinds of volunteer things as well. So let, let's put that one down here, number, th number three. Volunteer in your community. Okay, this one's huge. Whether that's one of your local churches, whether that's the animal shelter, whether that's an arboretum or some kind of, you know, uh, taking care of the, taking care of the community plants or something like the food bank. What a great place to go volunteer your local food bank, elementary schools, go be a mentor, go be a tutor for, for school, school kids after school. All of those kind of things look great on your resume. Plus it will make you a more rounded person. You have a lot to offer your community. Don't just sit at home and play Nintendo. Get out there and get yourself plugged in and everybody else will appreciate that too. On top of these things, number four, get to know your faculty. Okay. Your professors are just like me. We're just regular people. You can come and meet, meet with us. You can talk. You don't have to be talking about a homework problem. You can just say, hey, I came by to talk to you. I looked on the, you look at your, um, here's a good thing you can do. Look at the website for your department. Look at all the people that are there. And on that, it'll list what those people are doing as far as research, what their interests are. Go find something that you're interested in and just sit down and talk with them and say, hey, I've always thought about getting into that field. Tell me more about it because I really don't know that much about it, right? They would love to talk to you about that. Number two, every recruiter that comes back to campus comes to see me. They come and talk to me and they say, hey, do you have any really good students? 
If you get to know your faculty, that's a part of networking. You can make some connections there with your faculty people that can get you plugged into the job of your dreams, right? I can't tell you how many people have been in my office or have come by my office when a recruiter was there and, the, and then when the student left, the recruiter said, who is that guy? I want to talk to that student, right? And they got hooked up and got, uh, got jobs off of those things. Another thing that's really important that you can do is those faculty can get you some undergraduate research opportunities in their lab and they may or may not be paid but an unpaid research opportunity is still going to get you great experience on your resume okay so let's just put um, undergrad research or that's how you spell that opportunity Okay. If you don't have any work experience, then what are you going to put on your resume? Well, how good would it be to put an undergraduate research job that you have? And it doesn't have to be paid, like I said. It's okay. And if you're in an undergraduate research lab and it's not a paid position, if you go in there and kill it every day, I bet you it's paid the next semester. So there are lots of opportunities to get plugged in, not to just class stuff. But you know what? You've got to want to do these things. If you just want to go home in your dorm and just lay there and play Nintendo all day, then when it comes time to get a job, and you, you shouldn't be surprised that you can't find one. Okay, and finally, number six here. How about this one? Mine the job ads. Okay? You need to go out and see... Now, you know, if you think you know what you want to do, it's in aerospace or it's in manufacturing or it's in medical or it's in whatever, right? You should be looking at the jobs now that are being posted. What exactly are they looking for? What can I get and put, it, you know, my, during my college experience together to make me marketable when it comes time to get a job? Are they looking for um, communication skills? The answer is going to be yes on that, right? <laughs> So if they are, you ought to join something like Toastmasters, okay? You all ought to go look and find your local Toastmaster and join that. That will teach you how to do public speaking. It will make you very effective, and it will be impressive when you go and have a job interview. I promise you that. Are they looking for... Um, teamwork things, right? So I need to join some group that's building a project that I can get teamwork experience. That's important. Um, are they looking for any kind of programming skills? Well, I might want to work that into my education, you know. What are those people, those people that are hiring the jobs in that niche that you want to get into, what are the skills that they're looking for? Because don't just assume that you, when you go to college, you're going to get everything that they're looking for. Yep, I went to college and they had a program. I took the program and now here I am, right? Because every, every industry, every market is looking for a special skill. And if you have to take a little extra class in speech to get good at this, or if you have to take a programming class to get good at that, then you have some electives in your curriculum. Stick those things in that people are looking for. So, that's what you can do while you're in school still, okay? So, and that's not all, that's not an inclusive list, but that's some really, that's probably the top things that you can do right off the bat. So as this series goes along, like for the next, the next set of the series here, we're going to start talking about how to write an engineering resume um, that will impress that job recruiter at that next thing. And I'm going to show you step by step, it's going to be a multi-part um, series, on how to write a resume um, to impress your job recruiter so that you can get your uh, either an internship, a co-op, or a full-time job, whatever it is. So stay tuned on this series. I hope this helps a lot. Of, I hope it answers a lot of questions. Leave some comments as I'm developing this. Maybe if there's a whole bunch of comments on a certain area that you want to see, we'll address it, and I'll include it in this series. Okay, I hope this helps. I'll see you on the next video.